Hello, and welcome back to another Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be working on part four of our toy brick, or rather our toy made of bricks, and that's going to be color the points using the texture. So you can see we have a single brick right here. Let's hop into step one. Double click to open it, and step one has us going up here to our test geometry node. We're just going to set the display flag on that, and let's go back to home. We want to remove that shader, so we're just going to unclick the shader. And if at this point you still have UV textures on, you can turn that off with this toggle right here in the toolbar. So have your UV textures off and go up to Assets, Edit Asset Properties, and you're going to choose Test Geometry Rubber Toy. If it doesn't show up for you the first time, um, you can just you know go up back to the object level, Control S, then hop back in, and hopefully it'll show up for you there. I don't know why it seems to be a problem with saving sometimes, but anyways. Now we can move on to step two, which was going to the asset menu, edit assets, um, rubber toy, and now we want toylowers.jpg and we want to click on save as file. Now we're just going to navigate to the directory that we want it in. And so you can see in my text folder, I already have it, so I'm not going to save it again. I'm just going to press cancel. But if you don't have it saved there already or in the proper folder, then you're going to press OK and or press accept and then you'll have it in the proper directory. Now, in step three, we're going to go to our network view and we're going to tab and we're going to put in an attribute VOP. So, attribute VOP, we're just going to drop that to the right of our points from volumes. And now we're just going to connect up our match size to the input of attribute VOP and set our display flag. And so now you can see that what that's done is match size. All this is doing is justifying our Y to be above the grid. And so the VOP actually looked at that match size, took that data, and created the object above the grid so that any changes we make will be, you know, coherent. So we're gonna go to the parameter vein of this VOP and we're gonna go to run over and we're just gonna make sure that that's on vertices. Okay, now to step four, we can double click to hop down into this VOP or rather into the attribute and use the tab key to create a texture. So just pop it down. And now we're just gonna wanna feed the output of this texture into the input of this geometry. So take the output and you're just gonna feed it in there or into the CD node, not into any particular, not into any node at random. In particular, we wanna go into the CD node. All right, now, we're gonna tab again. We're gonna type in UV coordinate. It's gonna show up as UV quartz. And we're just gonna place that here. And now we're just gonna to wanna to link up our UV to the UV of our texture. All right, now we can move on to step five. We're gonna select our texture node and we're gonna click on the gear icon to the far right of our texture map, right here. And we're gonna click on promote parameter. So in the upper level, that'll mean our texture map will show up. So it's grayed out here, but when we go back to the upper level, you'll see our texture map shows up and you'll see that in just one second. So now we're just gonna click on the little knob right here that's made. And we're gonna change this label to texture map. Press enter. Now, move on to step six, press U to go back up. And you can see that we have that texture map parameter. It's been added, so it's been promoted from the inner workings of that attribute node into the front facing side. So now that we're up here, we're gonna leave this name. We're gonna leave it as mandrel.pic. We're gonna add the toy Lauris texture at the end. So now we're gonna add an attribute promote. So tab, attribute, promote. We're gonna add it to the end right here. So connect these two. And we're going to change the original name. We're going to set that to CD. And that's actually um, that's one of the keywords in Houdini that Houdini will pick up on. It's basically CD refers to color. Um, there are other, um, other keywords such as uh, P scale, things that generally refer to um, some attributes or traits within your object that Houdini already knows about, so you don't have to define them yourself. And so after that's done, we're going to change original class to vertex and we're going to leave new class as point now moving on to step seven 
we're going to add an attribute transfer node to the same tree over here. So we're just going to wire that in. Actually, before we wire that in, let's make sure we're reading the instructions. So we add that attribute transfer node, and then we wire points from volume into the first input. So right here on the left. And attribute promote, we're going to wire into onto the right. So it's taking two inputs and gives us one output. Now, in the attributes tab, we're going to click on the arrow to the right side of points. So you can see we have our attributes transfer tab, attributes is open, and points is right here. We're going to click on the arrow and we're going to choose CD. Did we remember to? So let's go back up a level. Let's make sure that we save that with enter, control S. Go back down to the attribute transfer. And just make sure that we redraw this line, make sure that's solid. All right. And points. Points should be CD, so we can just force it in. We'll just type CD. All right. Now we're going to add a switch node after our color node right here. So press tab, switch, plop it right in there in line. And we're going to wire our attribute transfer node into this switch. Just like so. So let's just lower that a little bit. Now we're going to set our switch to 1. And set our display flag on the copy two points node. And now you can see that the colors from our texture map have been transferred to the copy points and onto our bricks. So now we can set our flag back on the material node. And we'll select the attribute VOP node real quick. Click on the file button. So we're in attribute VOP and click on the file button to the far right of the texture map. So the texture map right here, we're going to choose file and we're just going to navigate over to where we had the toy lowers um, .jpg and so that's in Houdini projects, Brickify, yada yada and then we're going to choose this, accept, okay and now you see the texture map have been all the colors of the texture map have been assigned to the bricks and the vertices and our toy is looking pretty good. So that's going to be all for this lesson. Remember to save your work, and I'll see you in the next one.